the Joe Rogan experience. Well, you know what, man? I think there's a problem with commentary with sports that leaks into MMA, and I don't think it belongs there. And I've fought against it from the beginning, and that's the, the, the insult commentary. There's a kind of like calling people bums and calling people losers and, you know, and get, out, get out of the game. Snoop Dogg, that piece of shit. You don't I'll like, call him out. What, what's, what, what don't you like about well, Snoop Dogg? He called uh, Connor. Oh, Mary called yeah, him a bitch. That was a mess. That no, was a mess. That's Absolute not cool, Floyd man. Mayweather no. fight. That was a mess. I think he was fucked I've, up. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. You know, you you put it on public. He could have, you know, apologized, deleted, whatever. You know. Yeah. If I go to the UFC PI, I might just punch him if I see him there. Whoa. I'm cool with that. Look out, Snoop. <laughs> you don't want none of that, Snoop. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying that, that really offends me, man. Because you know what, man, Connor. You know, people all have their opinions about him. I respect the shit out of that guy. I love what he's done. I love, I, uh, I love his shtick. Um, I think he's a he's a true um, uh, sportsman. I mean, I like it. he comes into the limelight for a little while and then he goes back. And I think he goes back and he works his ass off. Yeah, I, I really think he does. Uh, well, he definitely he, does. Yeah, he I mean, he wouldn't does. be where he's at if he didn't, right? Yeah. Um, you know, but everybody judges him by, you know, what he, he does out here. Well, but. listen, what he did was make $100 million fighting against the greatest right. boxer of all time for his and first professional well. boxing match. And did well. Did well. Yeah, yeah. and won a couple of rounds, yeah. which is fucking crazy. Yeah. You know, that's fucking crazy. Right. I mean, I think Floyd... I think, Took off. I, th I think the he vast did. majority of people could, uh, of good fighters, could win around against Floyd. Just because Floyd, I don't know if I'd say gives him away, but... You know, he's going to feel you. He's, he, you know, I mean, he's that's the way he fights. He's, he's mm -hmm. fought everybody like that. You yeah. Know? And he rarely wins the first few rounds. Agreed. Yeah. But, but that's not taking away nothing from Connor, though. He, he didn't did want to get clipped by that left uppercut. That wasn't, <laughs> he did not. That wasn't on <laughs> his right. plans. You're right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I just think the, what I'm talking about is like the commentators and a lot of the journalists. And you see less of it today because I Stephen think. Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, that kind of style. Yeah. There's a style, and this is their shtick. Their shtick is mocking people and creating controversy. Yeah. And I, that's why I say I don't think MMA is a sport. I think it's more intense. It's, you're emptying out out there. You know, when, when you see a fight, you know, and it's a crazy ass war like Robbie Lawler, Rafael Dos Anjos, where it's just five rounds of chaos. To to diminish either one of these guys as a man, as a human being, based on their performance, to mock them or belittle them, I just don't think it has any place in that. I think it's, it's a way more intense and way more personal experience for those guys. It's, so not, it's not playing baseball. It's not... It's not fucking Bill Buckner dropping a ball. It's not. That's not what it is, man. It's way more intense. If you got a guy who's a lazy football player who doesn't run fast enough, you want to mock him, that's f whatever. You go ahead and do that. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. But you want to make fun of a guy who's literally putting his health on the line in, a, in an occupation where you're competing against a motherfucking trained killer, and you guys are going to throw bones at each other for five-minute rounds, you got to have some respect. You have to have respect, or you shouldn't be talking about it. Uh, you should have some understanding of it. You should know what the fuck you're watching, and you should have some respect. And if you want to say that a guy should retire, if you want to say that a guy has probably seen his better days, that's fine. But have some respect. This is a different thing, man. It is not a regular sport. I agree. And I, th I would say also that um, they have no right to be saying things that they've never done, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean you... You you just can't. You don't have to compete, right? Like like you do jujitsu and Muay Thai and shit, and like you get such a more in depth knowledge about what they're truly going through, right? Or, and what's happening by just experiencing it a little bit, right? There's that, and there's also I think if you've never really been punched in the face, and you're you're talking about guys getting punched in the face, like you really don't even understand the experience. <laughs>